Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the studio rooms. Ah uh, yes, where are we? What the hell is this? Well, quite frankly, as you can probably tell, we are not in our regular abode. This is nice, isn't it? I <laughs> wish I had a studio like this. <laughs> I wish. We should, we, we should actually do a little shot where we, where we show this. Um, the incredible. good people from Toman have invited us out to Treppendorf to visit their Campus Behemoth. facility, behemoth. They're amazing operation. It's massive, absolutely epic. Mm. And what we thought we would do to try and give you some idea of the scale of this place is we want to go through the process that you guys go through, but instead of um, waiting for mail order and stuff like that, we're going to prove to you that actually you can rock up here to the Toman store and buy stuff and take it with you there and then. So what the hell are we buying? Well, quite frankly, this is our own money we're spending at this point, <laughs> or actually, as it turns out, my own money. Yeah. So well, You need one of these anyway. What do we fancy? I've got an EQ, but hey, um, we were wandering around recently with one of the guys and he said there's a particular pedal that he particularly recommended. And I thought, do you know what? That pretty much suits my budget at the moment. It's about 20 pounds. Yep. About 20 euro. Actually, it's, it's less than that, isn't it? I think it works in about, uh, so let's go in here and scroll down a bit. Pedals, uh, it's an EQ. Uh, we're not towing the company line, but it just so happens that this particular one is made by Harley Benton. Um, there you go, the mini stomp. So it's 16 pounds 80. Yeah. And we've been recommended this pedal because apparently it's got this magic frequency on it. That isn't on a lot of the other, EQ pedals. It just seems to do a thing. And you know, I'll take a cheeky punt for less than 20 quid. So we're gonna order it. Yep. Then go through the warehouse. Yep, we're gonna follow, follow our orders process. Now you'll see that there are certain bits we can't get to. So there might be a certain amount of going, oh look, there goes an order. And it might not be ours because this Don't place. Don't tell them that. You're spoiling the magic. Have I just have I just destroyed the, you the, just the, third, the, the third, magic? The third window, or whatever they call it. It's it's, it's all real. It's all real. <laughs> it's this place is epic. Um, so uh, I'm going to hit add to basket. Then I'm going to hit checkout, and I'm going to opt not to ship it to the UK. I can't think why, because because we're here. I'm going to hit checkout, and then I'm going to go through the the payment process. Can you show everyone your your bank account details and? Maybe not. Okay. No, no, I won't do that bit. But um, let's follow the order. So once we hit go on the order, it is processed in this building. This is the main kind of corporate headquarters of Toman. Um, the main man, Hans Toman's office, is also in there somewhere. We next travel into the warehouse where the pick by light system goes off and selects our order, our little pedal. Each of these grey trays, and there are tens of thousands of them, is one product line, it's one skew as it's technically known. There are thousands of these things. It's all computer controlled. The computer goes in, knows where these things are stored. There's no actual logical organisation to it. The computer knows where it is. The items are loaded onto one of these carts, which are then in turn transferred onto one of these little babies. These are what they call their racing cars, these little red things that you're about to see. 
This is one of three facilities they have at Toman. Um, two run by Pick by Light, one run kind of handheld, if you like, because small things like pedals, strings, um, mouthpieces, bits for brass instruments, sticks are all done automatically via the system. Big stuff like PA speaker cabinets, um, amplifiers, big stuff is all done the old fashioned way manually with forklift. It then goes in one of these grey crates and moves around the facility. Everything is tracked via barcode. Obviously smaller stuff is in grey crates, boxed stuff is in its own box. Right, so we have been through the warehouse, mm -hmm. we've watched the order go through. Now because of health and safety and other things that we don't tend to worry about, but we now have to go outside and we're going up the hill to the order collection point to collect the pedal, which okay. is very exciting. So I've got my printed receipt. Okay. We're going into the Wernuskabi. Your, uh, your command of German is... Um, look at that. Wernuskabi. Amazing. Okay. Right. Okay, there I am. Where? So from order yep. to collection. Yep. This is you ordering on the internet, not yep. in the shop. Not in the shop. It's taking what twenty, so twenty five minutes, something like that. Yeah. You pick it up. That's awesome. crackers. Yes. Got it. Here we go. Um it's back. And out we pop. Cute little thing. Tidy. That's a great noise. That's a good noise. What have we got there? Let me, let me just turn the thing off. Turn, turn the, the bibli off. off. Right. So we've got, you know, it's it's an EQ pedal. I didn't realise that that's actually the level. Oh, is yeah. that the boost on yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, five band EQ, uh, 100 hertz, 250, 630, 1.6 and 4K. So this really is a sort of Swiss Army knife for any guitar player because you can use it as a corrective tool where you're correcting sort of frequencies if you've got like a honky frequency or it's a bit scooped and you want to correct that. Or you want to make it scooped. Or you want, no one wants to make it scooped. <laughs> it's not the 90s, mate. <laughs> and also we've also got the level control which you can then boost. So basically a boost control is basically just a volume boost yeah. or a lot of boost pedals. And I love boost pedals, especially if you're using the overdrive from an amp. You get that extra push and the extra drive into it. Yeah, and, and you get the extra compression as well, which is you great. You play, I'll tweak. <laughs> So there you go, the entire Toman process mm. from online order to collection to playing. And that is awesome. <laughs> for 20, that is for 20 quid. For 20 quid, that is that is awesome. Mm. I think sort of anybody's pedal board could benefit from that. Yeah. Fantastic. That wasn't really the point to get to get the thing. No. But you know, what a nice byproduct. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for buying that. You're you're welcome. So, uh, really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.